Matt Step, Dave Campbell's Texas football back here at the Built with Chocolate Milk Coaches Lounge, the luxurious Coaches Lounge. We're here with the head coach of the Clear Lake Falcons, Coach Larry McRae. Uh, coach, appreciate you uh, welcoming us into your hometown. Absolutely, absolutely. We uh, turn the turn the heater up a little bit for you guys. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I I need to put a put a word in for somebody about. Are you the guy to talk to about the, about the humidity? Or? Uh, no, nah, that's somebody else. I always pawn that off on somebody. Okay, else. okay. How's everything going? Uh, it's going good, going good. Uh, summer workout camp and everything, and uh, started up. Uh, Back early June and, and kind of got kiddos in and you know we got a lot of kids that are young. We're trying to trying to learn some of their names. You know, there's some some younger kiddos coming into the program and uh, you know just been a you know a process. You know, trying to trying to keep it up where we're, where our standards kind of is now and, and keep the culture going that we've kind of tried to create the last three seasons. When, when you got to Clear Lake, it was a program that had struggled, hadn't had a lot of success in I mean, basketball, had a lot of success, success in basketball, but in football there hadn't been a, a, a history of uh, sustained success. How? Uh, how satis gratifying is it for you to look back in the last couple of years? You've been, you know, one multiple, you know, one multiple playoff games, one playoff game last year, uh, and you kind of established a foundation for winning. Where, where now it's almost it's expected, isn't it? Yeah, it's you know, it's, it's kind of what you hope for when you come in as a new coach. You know, you hope kiddos take to your culture and 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 take to the to expectations that you have laid out in front of them, and uh, you know, you, you hope that they that, that they work hard and that, and that those things happen. You know, you try to you know say the wins and losses. You know, they they come. You know, when the hard work gets put in and. You know, for that to start to happen a little bit around our place, you know, has been has been a blessing. You know, and uh, like you said, the basketball basketball at Clear Lake Clear Lake High School is, is great and it's phenomenal. Uh, we're getting some of those kiddos that that play both, you know, starting to come out and and, and play football also and realize, hey, I can, I can play football too, you know, yeah. and, and that's been a, a good thing for us as well. So, uh, but you know, great coaching staff, great kiddos, kind of coming together. You know, it's been a good uh, a good marriage, if you will, and uh, you know, we just just kind of hoping to. Kind of, kind of take it a step further, you know. I think uh, my my team historian had told me that it's the first time in, in school history at Clear Lake that they've been the uh, back to back seasons in the playoffs, the second round or further. You know, okay. and it's the first time that's happened. And I don't, I don't think, I don't want to misquote it, but I don't think, I don't think they've been in in three consecutive seasons in school history either, back to seventy two. So. Okay, you got something to shoot for there, oh, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Now. Uh, you mentioned you guys are going to be a little bit younger this year. You you signed I think eleven kids last year, which is which is unbelievable a testament to your program and congratulations to all those kids. Um, you're going to have a lot of new faces this year. H how important and helpful? Obviously, obviously you do spring ball. I'm sure. I'm sure. How how big is that? But then also the the two hours a week in, in in the summer to work with the kids on sports specific activities. How 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 much further ahead of the, of the curve will you guys be when you kick off practice in the fall? Uh yeah, we've we've always been, you know, not having to spell uh the name Sui Anoa. That you know, people trying to yeah, spell that name yeah. this year. That's going to be the first time since I've been there that uh you know, we'll, we'll miss that guy and he, know, was, he was a good player. He he, he was he's, he's pretty good. He's okay, he's pretty right? Good. He's pretty yeah. good. We had we had a few of those guys, you know, and uh you know, they, they were they were great to work with and we wish them well in their in their college futures and representing Clear Lake High School in that way, but uh, you know the, the the common name, you know the the one that pops up a lot. This will be his fourth. He's gonna be a four year starter. You know, Brendan Holmes is a oh, guy, yeah. uh, running back kiddo that's got you know is getting some some college interest and things. That's where he's like twenty five. I, I remember I, watching yeah. him as a freshman. I, yeah. I verify that, you know, just to make sure, you know, just to make sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, since his freshman year, you know, he's been doing good things for us at Clear Lake, and uh, you know, he he's he's one we're gonna lean on heavily this year. You know, and uh, you know we have some other kiddos. Blake Baltazar is gonna be a great kiddo at H back for us. Uh, Donovan Sweeney finally gets the reins you know, full time, kind of at quarterback. Uh, we have another couple of younger kids, you know. Also, we have, we have a, about five quarterbacks on campus. Uh, just hired Jeremy Moses out of SFA to kind of come in and coach our quarterbacks, who was a great quarterback at SFA himself. Mm -hmm. but, he was, yeah. Uh, you know, those young kids we're kind of leaning on, and uh, you know, our, our deal is a numbers battle. You know, we're, we're trying to get more and more kids in the program, but but we really like the ones we got. You know, we're gonna coach those dudes up and, and, and get after it. You know, so. The, the the UIL cha made made a rule change also a couple of years ago with the with the with the freshmen being able to work with them a week early. Yeah. How, for obviously getting getting that week of just the love on the freshmen and work with them individually is nice, but just everything about it just you guys can kind of get in the flow of football and the freshmen you kind of get all that out of the way and then when you, when your varsity kids get there the week after you kind of can hit the ground running. Yeah, well, I should answer that. I mean, we, no. we we actually don't do spring football. Uh, that's I'm sorry. Okay. Well, that's something I started. You know, we were at Mamble High School with, with Coach Martin. Uh, I kind of got in the you know when I was at DeSoto we did it when I was at Angleton we did it, uh, but we just we didn't do it at Mamble. You know, we did okay. it one time I think the first year and then uh, the trend was. We enjoy. I enjoy the two scrimmages. 
uh, that you get. And okay. so August 5th, we're going to have all them. So you're all, the guys all, in there. You're all going to be there. Okay. Yeah. I, just, I just assume because you guys are 6A, most, most guys <laughs> do spring ball. You guys are kind of a, a unique thing because you don't do spring yeah, ball. Yeah, yeah. And making use of those those two hours that we got this year, uh, you know, we, we kind of build it into our SWAT workout that we already do, you know, our strength conditioning camp. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's, it's been very beneficial, especially with three new offensive coaches coming on board. Uh, it's been great, you know, having having those guys around the kids a little bit and, and being able to do those things a, l- a little bit more than what we've been allowed to in the past. That's that, that extra scrimmage has got to be helpful, just be able to see your kids going against somebody different color jersey. And is there more to clean up after a first scrimmage when you watch the film than anything else? How, how much – is it, is it like a horror film watching that first scrimmage? <laughs> yeah, you don't want to look, but you got to. You yeah, know, that's, it's one of those types of deals. But uh, what you know, what I learned in, in my time, at, you know, at Manville, also that first scrimmage, without having to go into a real one that very next week, you know, it, it's been a it's been a good thing for us, and you're able to clean up some of that stuff. And that second scrimmage typically is better, you know, and uh, maybe maybe not the result at the end of it, but you see kids working on some things that you that you really targeted that second week. And going into that scrimmage, and so you know, it's just something I, I kind of got used to, and, and and it's just you know, the, we'll probably keep it like that as long as long as I'm a Clear Lake, you know, we'll, we'll keep doing it, doing it that way. So your district, uh, you know, it's it's balanced. I mean, just just looking at it, even last year, you know, I saw, you know, Clear Falls had been kind of a the, the quote unquote doormat for a while, and, and they've really improved. There's and you know, Coach Takel at Alvin now, what they're what they're gonna do and the excitement he's bringing. Yeah, uh, there's no off weeks in, in 24 six A, are there? Man, I tell you what, there's not, and we you know we we started off with Dickinson, you know, and that's that's a that's a tough one always, and uh, you know, it's Clear Springs is a tough one, and you, you go down the list. I mean, clear, a lot of the games we had last year with with Creek and Brook, and a lot of those those games were separated by very few points, you know, and and what I love about our district, you know, and what I what I love about it and what I hate about it is there's nobody. Hey, there's no easy ones on a Friday night, you know, and that, that I think that that's in the past that's allowed our district to be a little tougher heading into the playoffs also. Yeah, uh, because and you, you guys have had a success in the playoffs. And, and you've been able to do that. And so, you know, I, I appreciate the toughness of our district, you know, and, and you know, all the all the head coaches, all the schools. And then, like I said, Coach Takel coming in, Alvin, man, I was like, ah, any name but that guy, you know, because yeah. I know what he's going to do there, you know. Yeah. And I know, you know, Alvin – uh, you know, Alvin deserves a guy like that, and I think they're going to be they're going to be on the up and up also. Now, Tepper, Tepper wants to interview Takel in a little while, and he has <laughs> never interviewed Tim Takel before. Do yeah. you have any advice for Greg Tepper before he interviews Takel? I just I, he's, he's uh, Coach Takel's going to do all the talking. I know that, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I love Coach Takel. You know, he's a, he's a legend. You know, out here and he walks around and. Like I said, I'm sure he's he's off he's off talking somewhere right he's now. He's shaking hands and kissing babies. Absolutely, he? yeah. he's a, he's an awesome guy and all that. But yeah, Tepper just just tell him to sit back and relax, and Coach Take will do all the talking. All right, Coach. <laughs> well, uh, we got one more thing for you. You've done this before. This oh is yeah, the, the Dick's wheel. Sporting Goods Wheel of Questions. The wheel. It's back for another year. Oh, we've made it even more <laughs> vicious this year. Tough okay. questions. So okay, let me give see. that bad boy a spin. <laughs> Turn it this way, Max. Is that what you want? Right there. All right. Okay, we've had this one a couple times already. All right. Who is the most inspirational player you've ever coached? Who's a guy Ooh, that you've just been this, you know, it, it, it could be this, when you were an assistant, you know, a guy that you just, you know, just blew you away. Oh, man, that's going to be tough because there's a whole bunch of them, man. And people, my kids at school know me. I love to talk too, so I could probably talk about a bunch of them. And I, I think, you know, I don't want to cop out here and go in general, but I really, I really think it's that kid that, you know, that had a tough upbringing, you know, and, and you know, maybe, maybe – you know, had a had a tough life and home life and things mm-hmm. like that. But that kid you see, kind of, kind of, kind of come in on the on the back end of it, and you know, and ends up being a great student, great great athlete. You know, and uh, you know, really buys in to, to the program. Whether it's at me as an assistant or a head coach, you know, I mean, I think I've had a lot. I've been blessed to be at the places that I've been at, and we've had lots of those kiddos that, that do those things. And I mean, I could probably spit off about 18, 20 names. Is you know, that, is that one of the <laughs> things that you get? I mean. You know, you get into coachings for win, wins and losses, yeah. but really, this is this is a kid business. Oh yeah. And being able to, I mean, I'm, that might be more uh, for you. I'm sure more proud of accomplishment than winning any game is seeing a kid like that who has a tough upbringing that comes back and is now you know successful in life and has a college degree and is is doing something with his life and kind yeah. of break, breaking that cycle. Yeah, it's, I mean, as coaches, we I mean, you look forward to that kiddo coming back around to you. And, hey, coach, you know, ten years after they graduate, fifteen years, you know, I, you know, I, I, it makes me old and it's aging me a little bit. But this is, I think, my twentieth year doing this, and you know, I'm starting to go to weddings and and, and babies are being born, and you know, from from all start, the sports I've coached, you, you know? start coaching <laughs> coaching kids, that coaching makes, kids who are kids of the kids you coach. That's you know? when you're old. That's yeah, when you're old. That's when you know that's you're old. Art. Experienced, <laughs> ah, experienced. Okay, but uh, but no, that's. I mean, we've had uh, our biggest thing, you know, and what I what I learned a long time ago too is getting kiddos, you know, that that had no vision, maybe possibly or no no easy route to college, 
you know, getting getting it to where those kids can go on and play. Maybe play ball in college, but may just go to college, you know. And that's that's something I, I take a lot of pride in. And in my office, I have helmets of all the kiddos that have that have signed, you know, scholarships to go on the next level on all levels, you know, not just Division One, the yeah, big I mean, ones, you know. Division Three NAIA, right? But, uh, but I, I I look at those things, and I, I don't really. I mean, I think when it's over. They, nobody's really going to look at the overall record. I think they're going to look more about the number of kids you impacted and, and the number of kiddos that did things that they didn't think they could. You know, so I, you know, not to get too too sappy on here or anything no, like that, but I think that's a that that's that's what we're here for more than yeah. the wins and losses. And the you know the wins and losses are great, but you know that that's a that's a huge impact on 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 society, right? Society, exactly, yeah. exactly. Right. Well, coach, so, appreciate your time, and we appreciate yeah, you anytime, what you do man. for student athletes. I oh, appreciate you guys, man. Thanks. Thank you.